would we see Netanyahu soon and Israeli court today ordered the arrest of his spokesperson and media advisor. But why? For making fake intelligence to thwart a ceasefire and hostage deal in Gaza. This is wild and could be the end of Bibi and the British press. I'll explain why. Please make sure to hype up this video. It's very important. Every share will be enormous support for independent journalism and exposing the lies of mainstream media. Bear with me until the end. The end is very important. Israel sentenced Netanyahu's spokesperson and members of the security establishment to jail for leaking Hamas strategy documents found by the IDF in Gaza. And many Manipulating or editing the material to make it seem as though the Palestinian militia group's leadership planned to drag out the talks as long as possible, as well as smuggle hostages to Egypt. Let me take you back to 4th of September. That's when Netanyahu made this press conference after six hostages were killed. He said in this press conference that Hamas could be preparing to smuggle hostages out of Gaza over the Egyptian border. And hence, Israel should stay on the Egyptian Gaza border area known as Philadelphia Corridor, a sticking point in the negotiations between Hamas and Israel. Of course, to cripple any attempt for hostage release deal. And a deal falls apart. Critics said that Bibi is obviously trying to prolong the war and is working hard to avoid any hostage release deal to maintain his position. And all his claims about smuggling the hostages out of Gaza through Egypt were baseless and even fake. But who backed Netanyahu and turned all his claims into reality the next day? The Jewish Chronicle and also a German newspaper. Let's talk about the Jewish Chronicle. The Jewish Chronicle wrote this investigative article under the title Sin Noir's secret plan to smuggle hostages to Iran. In this wonderful investigative journalistic piece, the so-called journalist claimed that intelligence existed, showing that Sinwar planned to smuggle hostages to Iran, derived from the interrogation of a senior Hamas figure and a document found in Gaza in August. This is the article that claimed that Sinwar was surrounded by a ring of 20 hostages. And this is the journalist. Let's have a closer look. Elon Perry, the former commando soldier in the idea. <laughs> He presented a fake CV and kept writing propaganda for the idea to the British public. The Jewish Chronicle, after the scandal, made the statement. We have removed his stories from our website and ended any association with Mr. Perry. And then they apologized to their lawyer readers. Readers? Thing is, no one should read the JC. It's an example of bad journalism. The JC is the Jewish tabloid that made this wonderful article about me that is full of disinformation. He even misquoted me in the title. but had to correct the title a bit after I shat on them. In one of my videos. I will leave you the link where I spoke thoroughly about this article that is full of SHIT, but because I was working with the BBC at the time, they went to the BBC for a statement and the BBC spokesperson told them that they have no plans to work with me again after seeing my videos that spoke about the lies of the Israeli propaganda backed up by fact. Who owns the Jewish Chronicle? When we ask Google who's the owner of the Jewish Chronicle, we find he is Robbie Rip. He is one of the directors of the BBC board. He's responsible for upholding and protecting the independence of the BBC, acting in the public interest and exercising independent judgment. Can you see how funny that is? The Jewish Chronicle, owned by Robbie Gibb, makes an article about me. And then they call the BBC that Robbie Gibb is one of its board directors to take a statement from. And then the BBC backs up the claims of the Jewish Chronicle, owned by Robbie Gibb. <coughs> British media, you are a mess. And honestly, when will you stop serving as a mouthpiece for Zionists?